So I can turn it red. Paham. Mimi blowing. Mimi blowing. Hi, hi, it's Ben. Hi, Amy. So from now on, we'll be practicing at the studio together with the students here. And then there's another online platform that's happening. But it's going to be fun. Uh, we'll try and practice as one as much as we can. You guys can hear me? All good? You can see us? Later nanti penuh lah kat depan ni. <laughs> so if suddenly I terlupa, because sometimes I terlupa diri, and go around and forget about you guys, you can look at the students. See what they're doing, and uh, most important is that you can hear me. Okay, how are you, Amy, today? Yes, that's it. So, okay, so I want the sound Oh, yeah, and then I actually sent it to my friend's house because I didn't change the address at the point of view. And then, uh, but only the next day I went to the house and I think. It's good. It's good. Ah, I see the two ways. I know. I know. I know. But she said it got them like that. So, you know, you ask me to 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 ask me what's the last last 
for about two to three weeks. Yeah. So I need to uh, add in the drops. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of Yes. Hi. <laughs> So in class class it says basic to intermediate, right? Okay, don't worry about it. I'll give you guys the options. And um, yeah, to be fine. Usually my intermediate and my beginner stuff are almost the same. Um, it's just that how much longer you stay in the same. But it looks like you've got strong arms, so don't worry. Don't worry, you know, don't be worried. But is this your very first yoga class or first yoga class with me? First yoga class ever. Oh, welcome. Yes, I'm Yeah, my first class was what I had it on. Because just like you, I'm not trying to scare you, I went into an intermediate class. So I didn't have a teacher. Okay. I was like macho because I saw like older ladies than me and I died. <laughs> they were doing like crazy things and then of course the next day I just felt like my whole body went through a big accident or something like that. I don't remember exercising before. But something about yoga made me feel like uh, the, that, that thing that I felt the next day, I was like, what class can make me feel like this? So I'm gonna go for another one, but next time we'll do a basic one and, and, and learn how to read properly and all that. So that's the most important thing. Uh, whether it's basic or an intermediate class, it's just the speed of the class. Um, but you need to know how to do it. Of course, everyone knows how to read out right there, right? <laughs> it's just a matter of lengthening a little bit more and keeping your, your practice a little bit more and marrying it with your movement. So when you inhale, you blow in the lips and you expand. So you do take a photo when you inhale, filling all the air into your body. And when you exhale, you turn the belly back. Yeah. So that's exactly the same as when you're off your mat, right? But like I said, you want to thank. Is that honey? Honey, I miss you. We've been eating your food, Mimi and I. Oh my god, chef. Yeah, chef. It's so, so good. I love your ah. So good, sedap gila. Yo. Tapi kenapa kau orang tak bulat macam aku? <laughs> Tunggu lagi dua bulan kau confirm. Ini mungkin tak asyik ada gaji puasa. Okay. Um, I don't Two more minutes. Promise. Ah, it's Okay, okay, Anna, don't bang into it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Not so smart, this is. It's dark here. Okay. 
Okay. I can use my phone. Oh, that will be like. Okay, good. This one is put on the fire, but but Okay. If you are ready, just sit in your most comfortable. Okay. Just cross your legs, go into your most comfortable seated pose. Some people like to cross legs like this. Some like to go into a lotus pose. So just interlacing your legs on top of each other. Now place your palms on your knees. Close your eyes. And start to breathe through your nose. Inhale and exhale. Bringing all your awareness, all your attention towards your breath. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. Just feel the breath. Travel through the body and relaxing every muscle and every joint. As much as you can, lengthen your breath. So long inhale. Do it in a long exhale. Keep breathing through the nose. Now let's just bring all our focus and attention towards the top of our head. Bring your breath there and relax your mind. One breath in through the nose together. Okay, now exhale the breath down towards the center of your eyebrows. Just relax. Relax your eyes. One more inhale together through the nose. Exhale the breath down to your throat. Keep breathing, focus to the throat. Inhale through the nose again. Exhale the breath down to your heart. Breathing space around the heart, using the breath, relax your heart, feel centered, long deep breaths. One more, inhale through the nose, exhale the breath down towards your belly, and feel the rising up of the belly with every inhale. Draw the belly back with every exhale. And last breath, inhale through the nose again. Exhale the breath down to your pelvic muscles. Just breathe. And let's just stay here on our own, setting an intention for our practice. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Now drop your chin to the your chest. Open your eyes when you're ready. And lift your head up to center. Now inhale, lift your arms up, palms together, both your head, look up. Exhale, down towards your heart center. 
One more. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Do one with your breath and then move in. Exhale, down to the heart. Last one. Inhale, palms up. Looking up again. Interlace the fingers above your head, bottom of the palms together. Bring your arms behind your ears, chin to your, uh, to your chest. Stretching the sides of your body, lengthening the sides, sitting taller, chin to the chest. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Now release your arms behind you, interlace the fingers behind you, your back. Lift your arms away from your spine, shoulder blades together. This time, look up to the ceiling. Stay three, two, and one. Good. Now slowly release. Cup your fingers, um, cup your palms in front of on your knees. Drop your fingers lower below your knees, chin to your chest. Now round your back. Scoop your belly in. Take two. And one. Good. Go back to center. Let's give a spinal twist. Right palm on your left knee. Left fingers come behind you. Lengthen your spine again. Inhale. Shoulders away from your knees. Exhale. Twist into the back. Okay. Three. Two. And one. Go back to center. Change sides. Left palm on your right knee. Right fingers cup behind, inhale, lengthen spine again. Good, now exhale, twist into the back. Stay, three, two, and one. Good. Back to center, butterfly pose, feet together. Soles of your feet together, interlace the fingers around your feet. Inhale, sitting tall, shoulders lower than your... Um, here, away from your ears, look up, inhale, exhale, hold, and relax your shoulders, your elbows, two, and one, come back, Good. now straighten your legs forward in front of you and point your toes up, inhale, lift your arms up, Exhale, pulling forward. Get your feet, chin forward, inhale, shoulders slowly to the back. Exhale, drop. Bend your elbows, bend it towards your thighs. Two, relax your shoulders. And one, lift your body up. Palms next to your body, cross your legs, going to your table top pose, palms and knees on the floor. Palm shoulder width apart, second finger pointing forward, knees hip width apart. Okay. Drop your belly, you're going up, 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 up to the back. Exhale, scooping it, rounding your back, chin towards your chest, cat pose. One more, drop to your cow pose, tail going up, belly down, head up, be one with your breath. Exhale, scooping it, chin towards your chest, rounding your back. Good. Back to your normal tabletop, neutral spine. Let's take a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes and knees up, rounding your heels down, melting your heart to the back. Push your knees back. Distance between your feet, hip width apart or your own shoe size. Shoulders relax, don't scr uh, scrunch the, the shoulders too much. Good. Now let's just bend our knees without moving the upper body. Bend the knees left and right, walking your dog. Knee forward, knee back. Good. There we go. Now ground both heels. Melt a little bit more by pushing your palms away from the back of your head. And draw the chin to your chest, looking up to your belly. Three breaths. One. Feel the fingers are gripping the mat as well. Good, two, and one. Looking forward to that spot in between your palms. Then both your knees. Big steps forward, right foot all the way forward in between your palms. Good. Now left foot follows. Speed up together. Nice. Nice. Now push your knees back, chin forward, flatten your back. Inhale, tail bone pointing up, heart lifting up. And now exhale, forward fold towards the knees. Making sure your weight is more into the toes, less than the heels. Two. 
and one. You lift all the way up, come together to the Here. Exhale, down to the Sopasa. Please, by the side, arms to your mountain pose. Shoulders relax. Okay? Inhale, arms up and up. Exhale, fully forward. Come down. Hinge from your hips. Bring your hands with you. All right. You're going to bend your knees. Place your palms next to your feet. All right. Now try as much as you can to push your knees back and flatten your back by pushing your chin forward. Inhale. This is half lift. Now you're going to go to the full fold. Forward fold, bringing your head towards your knees. Yes. Bring your leg straight as much as you can. Good. Now you're going to bend your knees, looking at the top of your mat. Walk back, start with the right foot all the way back. And your left foot forward. So you be the plank. Nice. From your plank, bring your weight forward just a little bit into your tippy toes. Engaging your core, don't look down. Look at the top of your mat. Yes. Now drop your knees down. You got it? Bend the elbows. Drop your chest and your chin. Good job. Now point your toes back. Push the floor, but when you roll your shoulders back first, and then you do your one up. Cobra. Now, tuck your toes, go to your downward facing dog. You may have to adjust your feet a little bit where they were before, and stay in your downward dog. Three, push your mat away. Carry your mat apart. One more breath. Nice. Now look forward, bringing your right foot forward between your palms and your left foot forward. So feet are together again. Good. Now push your knees back. Try to straighten your legs as much as you can and chin forward, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, palms together. Work your head, look up. Exhale, down to your heart. Now move to arms by the side, pull you again. Inhale, arms up, move up. Exhale, forward, forward, come down. Bend your knees, palms next to your feet. Try to straighten your legs again. Knees back, chin forward, half lift. Exhale, forward, forward. Bend your knees, now left leg back, right leg back. Plan to get. Bring your weight forward, you don't know how it works. Now drop, bend your knees, bend the elbows, chest, and your chin. Point your toes back first, roll shoulders back, roll your feet off the mat, and push your body up. Tuck your toes down with facing dog and exhale. Three. Two, breathe. And one, look forward, bend your knees, left foot forward, right foot forward, feet together. Take a half leg, knees back, chin forward, lifting the heart. Now exhale, forward, forward. Now inhale, all the way up, arms together, back home to the mountain. Exhale, down to the heart. Release, let's take one more. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, full forward, come down. Good. Inhale, take your half lift. Inhale, chin forward. Exhale, forward, full, coming down to your legs. Nice. Now bend your knees. Let's jump back to plank. Nice. Bringing your weight forward. Bend the elbows, feet your top round up. If you want to stay, you can be testing, holding it. If not, get up. Down the dog. Exhale. Three, two, and one. Good. Jump forward now to your palms. Bend your knees. Jump into your palms. Nice. Knees back. Chin forward. Raising your heart. Don't feel. And exhale. Take your forward fold. Come down. Inhale, come up all the way, one breath. Exhale, one breath. 
Let's take one more, right? Inhale, let's circuit it up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Then he's jump as fast. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Three. No stress in the neck in your downward dog. Two. One, move forward. Let's jump with no sound. Feet in between palms. Good. Knees back, chin forward, inhale. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, rise. And one comes together, both of you. Down to your heart and exhale. Stay here, just catch your breath. Just breathe in and breathe out. Bend your knees. Middle finger touches the floor. That's the gauge. And now lift your arms up, align with your heels. Bring your palms together and drop the head to come to the heel of your palms. Three. Arms to be higher. Yep. Two. And one, push your knees to the back, forward, forward, and still. Of course, take your half lift again, inhale. And now you exhale, feel, jump back, chaturanga. Good, honey. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, with three single. Stay here, guys, only three breaths. Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Draw your feet together in your downward dog, feet together, and now raise your right leg up to three-legged dog. Right leg up, three-legged dog. Three. Two and one. Now stepping your right foot forward, all the way forward in between your palms, right foot. Drop the back heel. Okay, let's take a peek. The front heel and the arch of the back foot are in line. Now lift the body up with your front hand in three, arms up. Warrior one. Drop the head, lift up. Stay in your warrior one. Since I got you, you can see everything. Two, come in front of me a little bit. Ah, oh, yes. One more breath. And now drop your palms down and take your chaturanga again. So front foot goes to the back. Palms down, front foot back. You got it. And bend the elbows, chaturanga. Good, Joyce. Come up. Inhale. Good job, Ame. Exhale, downward facing down. Good. Three, two, and one. Warrior, uh, sorry, lift your left leg up now. Three legged dog. Yeah. Stay here, don't uh, lift the hip up, spreading your hips. One more breath. Good. Now bring that foot to the center, palms in front again. Quick look, front heel and arch of the back foot, same line and body up. Okay, squaring your knees forward, yeah? Your arms up, drop. Bring it to the don't arch your back, push your heel going forward. Stay. Three, I may bend the front knee a bit more. Yes, two. And one, chaturanga, palms down, front to back, inhale, 
Bend the elbows, exhale. Come up, inhale, strong shoulders, strong arms, and down. Facing dog. Stay here, five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Last breath. Okay. Now jump forward. Then your knees jump to your hips. Knees back. Chin forward. Inhale. I have to work with some toes. Exhale. Fold forward. And inhale. All the way. And down to the heart. Stay here. Please, uh, please, uh, please, uh, please, uh, please. Oh, you have to mute. Okay. You guys naughty, uh. got people not mute one. Okay, you guys okay? Stay top of your mat, catch your breath. Continue, go to your chair pose again. Because your fingers catch you strong. If your arms up, you'll pick up your arch, you'll go down to the bed. Strong pose. Three, two, one. Drop your palms in front of your heart. Look up down here. Yeah. Now you're going to twist all of your left elbow over your right knee. Twist, push to the center of your heart. Look up. Stay three, one. Low, two, and one. Going back to center. Go from up here. Twist to the other side. Twist, twist, twist. Hold it. Three. Two and one. Back to center. Now you push your knees back. Forward, forward. Good. Take your half leg again. Chin forward. Inhale. Exhale. Forward, forward. Really nice and tight. Catch your ankles and pull your body closer to your knees. Nice big forward, forward here. Two and one. Comes down. Bend your knees. Jump back to play. Okay. Same thing. Bring your weight forward and get it down to the ground. Bend the elbows, exhale. Push up, inhale, arms straight. Good. One more. Bend the elbows, exhale. And then slide. Now facing dog, exhale. One. Two. Melt your heart. That's it. Warrior two. Step your right foot forward. Pivot the back heel again. That line from the front heel to the back arch. Now lift your body up. Arms out to the side. Warrior two. Right hand forward. Good. Look forward to your right hand. Repeat. Yes. In three. Two. And one, reverse your warrior. The front arm goes behind, um, over your hip. Leg stays the same. Okay, three, two. Joyce, Rani, point to your second toe. Yes. And one, back to warrior two again. Now drop your front arm down next to your big toe. And your other arm goes over your hip. Over your head in line. Good. Stay three, two, one. Stay here, bringing your upper arm behind you. Behind you, body. Yeah? Try to find your right thigh. If you can, now right hand goes under. Try to look for your fingers and pull your body back. Yeah? Five. Find your fingers, pull the upper shoulder roll back. Three. Two and one. Release. Double chaturanga. Comes down. Front foot to the back. Go to your plank. Okay. Drop twice. Good. Push up. Joyce, arms closer to the body. Yeah? And then one more. And slide up. Good job, everybody. And downward dog. Exhale.
could be, I think you can bring your feet forward just one tiny step forward. Yes, and then you can push your knees back. There you go, much better. Left foot step forward, warrior two. Drop the back heel, open your arms up, warrior two. Three. So the front knee, don't let it exceed the ankle. It must be a light. So you adjust the back foot. Yeah. Three. Two. And one. Reverse your warrior to the back. Leg stays the same. Three. Two. And one. Front palm down next to big toe. Right arm over close to your ear. Roll your right shoulder back. Three. Two, four fingers together, thumbs out. And one, take your bind, right arm over, left hand under. Find your fingers and pull your body. Roll your right shoulder back and look up, three. Two, one, release, double chaturanga. Breathe, exhale, come down. Push up, over. Exhale. And slide up. Good. Down your facing up. And catch your breath. Stay in your downward dog. Take your breath. One more breath. Right foot stepping forward all the way between your palms and lift your right arm up, pointing your right fingers up to the ceiling. Nice little twist here. Stay three. Yes. Two. And one. Now drop your right palm down next to your big toe so the right foot goes outside. Okay. Stay here first. Now drop your back knee down. Sink your hips forward and drop your forearms down. Go to your lizard pose. You can flatten your palms foot forward. Tuck your toes and lift your back knee up again. Push your hips forward. Stay. Three. Two. And one. Now drop your back knee. Sliding your palms back, straightening your arms. Keep pushing your hips forward. Now your right hand is going to push your right knee out to the side. Twist and open that right hip. Stay three, two, and one. Now back to center. Okay, we're going to try this one, guys. Pushing your hips forward. Option one, you can. But I think you're going to pick option five. Then we could. Okay, you're going to sink your hips forward. Your right shoulder can go under that right knee. Bringing the right foot to the center. Comes down. Option one. Option two, lift your back knee up. Yeah. Option three, arms out to the side. Option four, you can try winding your feet. Right. Okay, there. There you go. It's done with four. Three, two, and one. Slowly release. Release by dropping your back knee down and just taking your breath. Okay, this is where we're going to go. Um, online is okay, you guys can see me there, right? We're going to take our first arm balance. From here, I'm going to place my palms down, bringing my weight forward, bending my elbows, and just like pushing the legs to, to the side. Well, you can try, maybe not if it takes off first. Get the foot going. Bending the elbows to the back as if you're doing the chaturanga. Yes, and bringing your weight forward. Okay. The toughest thing to do here is to straighten that front leg. Yes, so you need to inch it forward. That's right. Yes, and then you can So it's all about good ritual. Very good. Lift the back leg up. Use your toes. Nice, Vicky. The hook is 
is important. Nice. All right, so quickly, the front foot is going to lift off, right? So you need to inch the front foot forward. Until it lifts off the foot. Okay. Ini apa sudah jadi? Hani. Hani jadi apa nih? <laughs> okay, come back to your downward facing dog everybody. Back to your downward facing dog. Catch your breath. After this left side, then we take a break in child's pose, okay? Breathe first. Alrighty. Now left leg, bring it outside your left arm. Left arm up. Nice little twist on the other side. Left arm up. There you go. Three, two, and one. Dropping your left arm down. Next to your big toe. Hey, sorry. Next to your right, uh, big toe. And bring it. Bring your shoulder under the knee. Bringing the foot to the center. Stay here. Choose your option. Or bind. Okay. Nice. Three strong legs. Two. And one. Slowly now release. Dropping your back and down. Just for a, for a little tiny break. Catch your breath. So this is where you're going to start sliding again. Maybe this side is easier. Okay. First thing. You're going to bend your elbows to the back. Looking at the top of your mat. Bringing your weight forward. And pop the back toes, lift the back leg, making sure the right elbow is close to the body. That's going to make it easier. And then inch the front foot forward and just push the back leg up. Look at my toes. I'm going to just engage my toes by pointing them and bring them up a lot. Okay? So the cover goes under. Under. Yes. Put it on top of the shoulder. Come on, honey. Ina pull in there. Stay. Okay. Good. Arisa. Three, two, and one. Yeah. Okay. Now everybody rest in your child's pose. Release and rest in your child's pose. Relax. Catch your leg. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Back to your downward dog, lift your hips, tap your toes, lift your um, knees, and straighten your knees. Good. You're going to jump both feet outside your palms and squat. Arms together, kind of go back. Touch your breath. Okay, take your bapasana, palms down, second finger pointing forward. Lift your heels off. Making sure you're bending the elbows to the back and you're tucking the knees. On your shin this. Bring your weight forward. Try. If you cannot lift your legs off, it's okay. Just try and bring your hips forward. Little bit. Good. Another trick is don't look down. Look at the top of your mat. Or over your mat. So into the horizon. Good. You just don't do. I don't. Wow, this is so long. So what do I do? You stay there, okay? Mm -hmm. I see you tomorrow. Good, it's good. But you want to try and bring, now your elbows are here, try and bring it here. So, 
The scoop is really nice. How to go? Mm-hmm. Cross it. Now it's this here. Cross it. Yes. Good. Yes. Use your fingers also to grip the straw. Good. Let's try and stay. Nice. <laughs> okay, feet together, everyone, in your uh, butterfly. Interlace the fingers around the feet. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Now exhale, forward fold. Stay here. Three, three, two, and one. Come up. Now extend your legs in front of you for your yoga. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Melt your heart. And try and bring your hands over your feet. Try and bring your left hand, catch your right wrist. Okay. Three, two, and one. Slowly come up. Hands next to your hips, cross your legs. Yeeha! Ha 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 ha. Triple chaturanga and come back. It's nice. Go to plank, everybody. Go and bring your way forward into your toes. Triple chaturanga. Here we go. Bend your elbows. Push up, inhale. Bend your elbows. Push up, inhale. Last one. Bend strong. Slide up with control. And downward facing dog. One more breath. Right. We're going to drop knees down. Prepare for our inversion, our headstand. If you don't want to go into headstand, you can go into downward dog and stay for 10 breaths. If you want to practice your headstand, we can do it together. All right. We're going to take our traditional headstand today. So hold on to your elbows like this. That's your measurement. Drop down onto the floor. Come on, you do it. <laughs> Don't let go of your, your elbows here. Yeah? You just lay them down on the mat. And then now you open your hands, interlace the fingers. Still not moving the elbows. Still same distance apart. Good. From here, you're going to lift your hips from your heels. So bringing your weight forward a bit. Start to tuck the toes in the back. Now push your forearms down. That means your shoulders get away from your ears. From here, drop your crown down to the ground and snuggle, snuggle your head to the bottom of your palms. Okay, if you want to keep your the bottom of the palms together, do that. Or if you have to open your palms, put it okay. So the thumbs are sticking up, holding on to your head. Now tuck your toes, lift your knees off the floor. Okay, like a downward dog, but the head is on the floor. That's right. Now start walking your feet forward towards your face and pushing your tail going back. And try, try walking as close as you can until you feel your legs become light. Good, Lila. Nice. Good job. All right. Keep on walking and walking. Don't round your back. Don't round your back. Good, HP. You are very ready already. Try one leg up. Good. Nice. Nice, good. Stay as long as you can and make sure to come down. Try and try. The 
child's pose. Sit down, go to your child's pose. You stay on a big way. Get your breath. Good job, good job. Good job. Yeah. All right, now let's just lie down on our mat. Hug our knees into the chest and just relax. Catch your breath. Dropping your feet down, but pointing your knees up. So you're bending your knees. Place your arms by the side of your body. Now lift your hips up. Bringing your hands under your spine and push the floor away with your arms. And lift, go as high as you can. Chin to the chest. Push your feet, lift your hips higher. Two and one. Drop your hips and hug your knees into your chest. And massage your back. We're going to go a bit higher now of the heel. Same thing. Drop your feet. Middle finger touches heels. Now lift your heel, your hips. Once again, interlace your fingers. You're going to just slide your feet back a little bit. And then heels up. Maybe can a little bit more. Lift a little bit higher. Chin to the chest. Stay, squeeze your butt. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Slowly drop. Hug your knees into your chest. Last one. The big wheel pose. Drop your feet. Thumbs next to your ears. Fingers pointing towards your shoulders. Okay, when you're ready, you're going to push the floor and lift your hips up. Like the wheel pose. You all know the wheel pose, right? Good, HP. That's right. Nice, stay up, three, two, and one. Keep to your chest, back of the head down, spine down, hug your knees into your chest. Roll your body side to side. Extend both arms to the side, knees close to your chest, and now drop both knees to the right. Both knees to the right. And back to center. Drop both knees to the left. And back to center. Straighten both your legs up. Point your toes to your face. Catch your ankles, now lift your head and your shoulders and pull your body close, I uh, mean your leg. Two. And one, now back to center. Release. Now left foot on the left knee and twist again to the other side. And release. 
Go to your Shavasana, close your eyes. And just relax every muscle, relax every joint. So relax your mind, your body, your breath, relax your heart. <laughs> Slowly bring awareness back to your body. Wiggle your toes. Move your fingers. Now slide your legs together and reach your arms over your head. Stretch your body. Bend your knees into your chest. Hug your knees in and roll your body side to side. Drop to the right and rest your head on the right arm. Stay for a few more. Now slowly push your body up, come back up to your seated pose. Eyes are still closed, palms together in front of the heart. And now let's just come back to our intention, the reasons why we were on our mats tonight. Thanking the breath, the body, the heart for always being there for us. Thanking our mind for always being strong for us. Now let's close our practice. Inhale, arms out, arms together. Good. Exhale to the heart, breathe together. Two more. Inhale, arms. Exhale to the heart. Last one. Big inhale, arms together. Down to the forehead first. Let's honor all of our thoughts. Down to the lips. Honor all the truth. And down to the heart. Honor love and honor life. Namaste and thank you. I just want to tell how many people we have in class today. Here we have 11. Here we have 10. And then some people do that.
Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Coach. Good night. Thank you, oh, good night. Good night. Thank you, Ame. Thank you. Thank you, Yati. Bye, Aria. Bye, Honey. Bye. I love that. Andy ada ke? Oh, Andy tak ada. Dia buat spot check tadi. Dia buat tadi. Oh, dia masuk air tadi? Air tadi. Oh, ya ke? Sekejap. Sekejap. Ah, tadi dia ada. Dia spot check. Oh. Alright. Eh, Amin dah kurus, Amin. Kurus, Amin. Ken? Sikit, is it? I can see it. Alright, have a good um, okay, time. Good night. Bye. Cakap bye kat Mimi Fly. Bye. 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 Bye.